Hello everyone and welcome to the Geek Tech Show and in today's video which is sponsored by www.geekacademia.com This is my website where I create amazing classes and I show other people how to make money online. Well, I actually teach people how to make money so you can get something like this awesome ride by going ahead and working for yourself and making money online. That said, let's get started with reviewing this amazing new ride that I just got. This is the Subaru Crosstrack Polymium Rosa. So let's go ahead and check it out. First thing we're going to be doing is checking it out from the externally outside and you can see how it actually looks like. And I got the total black trim, black version, 100% polymium. And yes, there is three different versions of this car. And the middle one is the premium version, there is also the limited. And I choose to get this version because I like it best. It's not the leather version, it's not the most expensive version, it doesn't have the leather. And there's a few things that I want to show you about this car. First of all, we'll start with the exterior review. You get those very nice looking, beautiful tiles with limbs to them. Great thing about this, unlike my other vehicle, you can see that this doesn't have like this touching the ground. This has a huge amount of clearance as well. So you can go four by four with this vehicle. I'm not gonna get into any specs. You can definitely read all about this vehicle online. But I will be talking about a lot of things about the external things that you can't really see and you wanna feel it if you're buying one of those vehicles. Safety is the number one concern when it comes with Subarus. With that said, you can have this extra window of view in a Subaru that you usually don't have in a lot of vehicles. This is actually covered up in many. So you get this extra window of view, which is really nice. The premium version actually comes with a specific mirror that is heated externally. Also, the premium winter package includes heated. This is actually heated right here and it's gonna help melt the ice in case you actually need that. So this is great as well. And I think the melting, all this stuff comes with this black uh, specific thing that goes all around it, right here. And you can see it right there. I think that's where all this um, thing is actually coming from. I keep looking at it. It also has very nice, another mirror. This is another window that you can actually see things from it. Lots of external view in this vehicle coming up. And why I got the premium version, this explains to you why. It is tinted. This window already comes with tinted. You don't need to buy extra tints for this vehicle. All the back things are tinted. This is tinted, this, this and that. And you very, very hard time seeing what is inside the car, which is exactly why I like it. Another thing that comes with a premium version is the fog lights. So you get those fog lights included in the porches. Very nice interior and one of the things about Subarus that I like is the grill, which is actually a functional grill. In a functional grill with Subaru, the vents are actually functional. So the air intakes have a reason for them to be here. This is not just for beauty like in a Honda that I had before. This is actually functional, which is great. There's another set of them right over here as well. So the facade of this vehicle is beautiful looking. The black hole is nice looking. We also are getting this included. No extra fee. And you are getting this and you can put all kinds of things on top of this vehicle. So this is very, very nice. You can see it all over the place, including those new style shock fin antennas, which cannot really be removed, which is the good thing. In the olden days, people used to whip them out and stuff like that. A few really not great things about this car, and I don't want to really complain about it, but this is on the wrong side. So it should have been on the other side. I don't know why Subaru is putting them on the actual, the wrong side. For Amer North American drivers. You can see how it looks like right here. Very functional white. It's not in a weird shape. And the back of it 
looks kind of like an SUV in the back because maybe this is an SUV it's actually a raised um, wagon that's what it's actually called and there is a windshield wiper over here and it comes with just one of those wings unlike the previous car where I had a double wing this actually is pretty useful because one of the reasons for it for the rain and the snow it keeps some of it away and then we have the windshield wiper to do the other job for it moving to the back seat and including very nice Subaru logo the Subaru astronomical sys systemmetrical all-wheel drive another very cool thing feature of all those new vehicles that are made right now you can't actually see where the vent is coming out this could be a bad or a good thing in my previous one I have very kick really nice looking vents the vent is right here and I want to show you the inside of this vehicle it is made to go off roads and you can see the suspension in here as well and it looks really really nice everything is really covered and if you look more on the inside we're gonna go right through it you will see what I mean by this because this car right inside it has this plate a huge plate that is covering the entire vehicle and this specific plate is actually made to safeguard your car especially if you're going to go off-road driving let's open this up and take a look at this vehicle on the inside so in the inside here is what you're getting we're getting this you can put it right here on both sides it's actually a pretty nice material too it's not too thick or too thin I wish it covered a little bit more of this I like the light addition over here one thing I don't like is just this I don't know why in the world they have it looking like this I guess they have no other choice because it comes all the way in here uh, this thing kind of bugs me I guess you can go ahead and stick it like this if you want to not to get too bugged by that so that's one of the things you can do now this is pretty cool by the way like any other vehicle like this you can easily just take this off with your hand by just pulling on it and not very really easy to do with one hand keep trying Wow! and you can take it out if you want to once you take this out you can pull those up and you can put them down and there is ankles right here this is for kids in case you want to fasten a kid and you have an actual case for them that's what it is for and there is three of those over here and you can use it to mount one of those child proof seats over there for your kid if you have one and right now it is red meaning it's not secure so that's what we have in the back and let's put this back in it is easily done whoops now I have to put it with one hand now that's gonna be a job <laughs> all by itself I don't think it is really made for people to put it with one hand but it is possible let's go ahead and do that oh well okay there we go and I stuck it in but not inside there now I know why it didn't go in now the great thing about the material is that it actually pretty looks pretty good so here we go both sides now over here it says Subaru over here and it comes with this very nice protective mat you can put other extensions in here and that's how it looks like now underneath this if you lift this up this is pretty important by the way the Honda the Civic I had before had a very cheap thing under here 
on the other hand this looks a lot nicer so the Civic had a very wooden thing underneath the facade here looks still amazing right under it you can see they put a lot of time and quality into engineering and making this now this is not included in the vehicle everything else is you have a very nice spare tile with a tool set right where it belongs in here you have all the tools all combined with the spare tile which is a donut size this is not a full size tile if they did the full size tile there would be no space for it because this would take a lot more space than it needs to be thankfully with those tiles you probably don't need a spare tile most of the time some new vehicles don't even have a spare tile but it was very nice for them to have one and to put them in a very good location i like the light addition over here my previous car didn't have that to eliminate all the back in case you need to now stepping all the way back you can actually see how it looks like and how big it is with the lift gate being actually up all the way and there is no shortage of it going up this is really going up all the way up and it automatically lifts it with the hinge right here so this hinge automatically goes up and you can post it all the way down and it also comes with this material this is the premium edition so you don't scratch this when you're using it a lot of stuff in the back let's get into the back seat the back seat itself is pretty much comfortable and you can hear very substantial sound when you do close the vehicle this is the premium edition and one thing about the premium is this so you can move it a little bit higher and you can move it lower now one thing this vehicle doesn't have is those cups that you can put right here and it doesn't seem like it has one of those unfortunately which is a bummer I did wish it had a removable um, thing that you can put a bunch of drinks right in the middle and enjoy yourself or of course just sit here and divide it between your fellow passenger and it doesn't have that a lot of new vehicles don't have it so that's a shame that this car doesn't have something that comes out but you can live without it the seats themselves and there's plenty of room here I put this all the way in the bottom and you can see how it actually looks like when you put it all the way down a lot of extra space over here in storage and it does give you it is pretty flat when you put it on the bottom and you can have a lot of things going on and you can put on top of it in case you actually need to another cool thing is this you can put a bunch of maps in here my previous car didn't actually have that and this one does have it so very nice storage compartment here the fabric of the seats this is something I love about this car is just the feel to them the previous vehicle the Civic the seats were not feeling so good over here when you're touching it you can feel it is soft touch and the material feels not cheap it feels like it's premium maybe that's why this is the premium version uh, pretty much for a reason there are six speakers of sound that are included including one right here and you can see it right there and now a few things about the back here there is very nice orange stitches that are going for it and they look kind of nice over here as well now there's a place for you to put your cup holder right here in case you want to get something for you to drink every person gets their own window that you can move up and down and your own lock the good thing about this is that you can close it or you can open it right now it is open it is in the red position now it's going to be closed and you can't get out so it's good that this is all manual you don't want this to be electronic in case you want to actually get out of the vehicle if you have to a few other things about the back here is the view right from the back I don't have a sunroof I maybe wish that I did get one comes to think about it, it would have been an extra 1400 bucks just to get the sunroof over here but it would have looked a lot more cool on the bottom over here you can see those very beautiful looking mats now let's get to the front of this vehicle when you get it out 
here is how the seats come out so you can put a lot of things inside so one thing I want to show you is that it has those child pool blocks over here and if you move it down the kids cannot actually open those seats in case they actually sit here so this is one thing you can actually do in case you decide you don't want your kids to be able to open those locks up now this is actually how this vehicle actually looks like on this side and you can see that you can put a lot of stuff in here and the way it actually opens up as well and this is the way it opens all the way out just in case you wanted to see this next thing I'm gonna be showing you is how you can go ahead and open those latches up and we're gonna be using them just so you can see how much room is in this vehicle now this is the use for this is very simple you put this right here so it's easy for you to do this the seat belt does get a little in the way and now you can see how much room we potentially have in this vehicle which is a lot of room unfortunately it doesn't go a lot more down but most vehicles are pretty much like that one thing that this car doesn't have it doesn't have the magic seat so the magic seat with the competitor which is the HLV if it actually had that you would be able to put this the other way around but this is a safety actually feature the seats are anchored to the bottom which means in the event of an actual auto accident the seats themselves are way more secure than in the HRV that's why the safety ratings on this car is so much more superior that's one of the reasons for that another thing that's pretty cool here is this so with the weather package this is actually heated which is great especially since I live in the northeast moving forward we can see how the engine actually looks like in the vehicle it is simple everything is right here and you can easily access every different part of the engine itself including it has this fire shield over here so if something happens and you have fire in the engine this is fire suppression material that's supposed to help it just in case stop any specific fire it also is insulated over here as well in the back so you can see that it actually is fireproof like a container inside so just in case it prevents it from getting into a bigger fire totally fast so you have time to get out of the vehicle just in case you have to in, a, in any case of a real emergency this is the battery compartment right here make sure the connections are always clean the engine itself is right there it's not the most powerful engines but it does its job and that's how it looks like and for oil change very easy and simple things that you can get out there is not too much a lot of complicated things and that's how the engine itself actually looks like moving forward to the interior of the driver's seat it is much brighter here than in other vehicles although the windows are tinted in the back and they're mirrored which is the cool thing about those kind of tints those are mirrored tints and from the inside you can't really tell that it is tinted this is really cool about this car I'm inside the interior of this vehicle and you can see how it looks from the back here there's speakers in the back there is another speaker right here and another speaker right there so you have four speakers and the radio sound is pretty good and you'll be able to feel the radio in a few seconds this is how this vehicle actually looks like in the interior the seats themselves are pretty comfy and uncertain there is actually a storage compartment right here and in the storage compartment this is not, doesn't come with the vehicle I put this next one can put things right here there is nothing else included here this stuff doesn't move the only thing that does move is those and I just don't like the way it was a little bit designed but it's good 
have space right here to put some stuff maybe business cards i don't know what else this is really for there is double usb cords over here and there is a lighter place where you can put the lighter inside this is just another power source right here for us so we have one two three different power sources and something for headphones like a headphone jack right here to listen to the radio or something i'm not sure what it's for um, but this is kind of cool it's pretty deep too now our storage space is right here and we have right inside another place where you can actually power up your devices in all the interior this is where the wheel is <laughs> not the wheel this is just the joystick and i have the actual key for this vehicle so the limited edition doesn't have actual keys it has the touchdown but i like having real keys something you actually have on you plus it doesn't cost me 300 bucks in case something goes wrong those keys are just 20 bucks to replace and maybe like 50 but 500 bucks to replace this push button start or 300 depending on the vehicle itself and how much work it actually needs to be done this is probably the cheapest way for you to go they will have, one copy. have a stalling system right here. It's Senate rules established back during the Obama administration. And person agree. That's now the most annoying thing is this following. And that is definitely annoying. So every time you turn this on, you have to press on OK. Yes, it can get pretty old, pretty fast, and you can't disable it, unfortunately. Now you can change the different stations by just pressing on this. And if you hold it pretty long, it will memorize this station a lot of things for you to remember here and you can make a huge video about how to use this whole Starlink system on it also the great thing about this it has apps as well that you can use like super apps apps and everything in between you can press on the radio there is also satellite radio which is xm radio in this edition the sound is pretty loud in this car so don't doubt it six speakers is very loud for this vehicle however just keep it quiet and with the satellite radio you can browse it and you can check the different kind of things in here i don't want this video to get demonetized so I'm not gonna go ahead and listen up to songs and everything else included here. There's the Howard Stone show over here that you can listen to in satellite radio and you get three months free trial to satellite radio included. Lots of different channels for us to pick from, traffic, everything with satellite radio. I can, I can make a whole video just about satellite radio actually, lots of information. A few other things about this, well we have the whole vertical and horizontal vents as i said it it is the other way around the fog lights over here there is the this is really nice right here where you can shift different speeds and of course you can put this into drive and into manual mode which is kind of cool and then you can use the puddle shifters right over here so puddle shifters are pretty nice as well a few other things is the material it feels good when you touch it have a leather wrapped steering wheel and right here we have the SOS system right there in case anything emergency just press on this we have another light here one light right there a few lights right here you need to just press on them and get the light to actually work in case you need to you can have those things in case you need to hang up to to them if the ride is going to be pretty hectic especially if you're going on a 4x4 drive what else we get here well we get another speaker right there the manual system when when it is included turn this on and put the air condition on AC on AC off this on 
So this is where the AC on actually. And then we have those lights right here. In case of an emergency, you can use the flashers. This is the different speeds. The high speed. And the low speed. This is on no condition, it's windy. And it's cold and it's working and you can see the temperature right here. Let's turn this off. And now over here we have different modes that we can actually use. So what I like about this is that you can manually just switch in terms of which mode you want, where you want the L to actually blast you. And you can press on this which is gonna go ahead and take out all the stuff in the back just in case you want to defrost it or you want the windows those windows right here to to be able to get everything out like snow ice and stuff like that this is the cold weather edition talking about cold weather edition you also have this plus for this vehicle which is very nice heated seats right here which is the low version and the high version of the heated seats we also have the X mode included in this car for no extra cost for the premium edition. It also comes in all trim models for this vehicle, which is the 2019 edition. Temperature is right here, the clock is right there. And now we can see up in the front, one thing I don't like is just the way this looks right here, looks a little messy. Nothing really fancy when it comes to this side. And one of the things about this is that over here it tells you how much fuel, how much miles are left, and how many miles an hour that you're doing. And if you want to switch it around, you want to see something else in here, you can just press on trip reset. And let's take a look at what we have here. And you can do A and you can do B. Not many fancy functions over here, in fact there's not, not much here at all. Most of the fancy functions you will have to go inside the home menu, press on home and you can go into settings or overview which is, this goes directly to your phone. I'll press on know it here. And it's hand free talking which is kind of cool about this vehicle. In the settings you can go ahead and change all kinds of stuff included one of the great things about this you can set a driver's profile so if you have different drivers coming in you can set different kind of controls and a lot of other cool features in here included 166 miles left over here and it does have a small thing on this side where you can go ahead and see how much brightness the monitor is actually showing or not plus which is traction control right here those are other extra options that are not in this vehicle trim but you can definitely include them so there is options for you to put one two three four five five different other things in this car every one of those is very expensive and here you can see the thing is about this vehicle is that safety is number one with Subaru which means that you're not getting anything else here included which means when everything works very well you should see nothing here whatsoever if something happens you will see the red lights red lights require immediate attention airbag power steering uh, the battery any of those things require immediate attention this is yellow just telling you to check those features out at the moment the car is off so there is no reason for it for all those warnings to actually show up once you do turn this on all those warnings go away which is good so when you're driving everything should be specifically off unless it is the headlights or something like that and then it's gonna show on the monitor it doesn't show if you have just regular daytime running lights or just regular lights. The cool thing about this, it has an auto feature right here. With the auto feature, which is really awesome, you will be able to set the lights to be on auto. So the cool thing about the lights being on auto 
if there is not enough light outside it will automatically turn it on so you don't have to go ahead and turn the lights on and off at all it does it all for you so that's a great thing about Subaru so hopefully this really explains a lot of the reasons and everything else about the Subaru Cross Track 2019 edition the premium version and if you want to see anything else you want to know anything more about this vehicle make sure you ask me any question you want plus hopefully you're going to be subscribing to this video and seeing any other review that I make as well that said thank you for watching I hope to see you as another subscriber of my channel and see you in the next video another comparison that I like to do is the door cage and if it actually fits inside the trunk and in the Honda uh, Civic hatchback it actually fitted in this one it's a little bit harder for it to fit in and the reason for that is because of this if it wasn't for this it would have been easier for it to fit in it's just a little bit over here very small difference it would have still worked but it's a little bit sticking out now there's two ways for you to still fit this in if you have a dog you can fit it horizontally and it's still gonna work very well right now or you can actually remove this and it's pretty simple for you to remove it all you have to do in case you need to remove it just put your hand in here and just pull it and you keep on pulling it and it comes out it's not really made for one hand but you can easily do that if you want to so I'm pulling it out and putting it out of here so this is removable and you can put this in a front seat or anywhere else or just take it out so now with this piece removed all you have to do is just put this in the way you want it to and here it is now the door cage fits in really nicely another thing you can do you can readjust those seats and move them a little bit if you want to unfortunately unlike some vehicles this actually has to snap into place you see it's red right here if it, is red, it means that it didn't snap into place now it did so there is no positions that you can put this in and just leave it there it gotta get snapped right here and this is a safety actually feature they want this seat to be safely secure anchored inside so let me show you this once again just to see how big this door cage actually is from all the viewpoints I want to show you how much you can actually fit inside the course track so pretty much this is how it actually looks like if you put two of those big bottles of water in case you want to get a bunch of those for yourself you can actually put two of them all combined over here and you can stack a bunch of them up now you can potentially put one two like this and then you can also put it horizontal too so pretty much would be one stack two stack three stack and put it on top of each other I'm um, actually assuming one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven maybe up to twelve of those cases could potentially be stacked up over here and I have four of those right now so if you're putting it like this and then stacking it on top of each other I would say maybe 12 maybe one two three four five six maybe 10 so from 10 maybe up to 12 depending on how good you can put this into but this is a lot of room here this is not a small place that you can only put a few things you can put a lot of stuff inside this luggage compartment 